Hi, welcome to DVMS course. Today we are going to start relational model. And in this session, we will discuss some basic terminology of the relational model. So let us start the session. In relational model, data must be stored in tabular format. For example, we have a table whose name is student and with three columns SID. My intention is student ID and S name, student name and age. Now let us see the terminology of the relational model. The first one is relation. What is a relation? A table is called a relation. So this is an example of a relation. The next one is record. What is a record? A row of a table is called a record. For example, 11 Lakshmi 30. 11 Lakshmi 30 is an example of a record in this relation. What is an attribute? A column of a table is called an attribute. So in this example, how many attributes we have, sir? We have three attributes, SID, S name, age. So what are the attributes, sir? SID, S name, age. The next one is arity or degree. What is degree of a relation? The number of attributes of the relation. The number of attributes of the relation or the number of columns of the table is called degree of a relation. In this example, how many attributes we have, sir? One, two, three. So the degree of this relation will be three. The next one is cardinality. What is cardinality? The number of records, the number of records of a relation is called cardinality. How many records we have, sir? One, two, three, four, five. So the cardinality of this relation is five. Is it fine, sir? The next one is relation schema. What is relation schema? The definition of a relation, the definition of a relation is called relation schema. What is meant by definition of a relation? Suppose the name of this relation is student. The name of this relation is student. Then in relation schema, we mention the name of the relation with the names of the attributes. With the names of attributes. So what are the attributes are? SID, S name, age. So This is relation instance of, sorry, relation schema of this relation. In relation schema of a relation, we don't consider the data or the records of the relation. Then the next one is relation instance. What is relation instance? Definition plus data. Definition plus data is called relation instance. So the entire table, the entire table is called relation instance of a relation. One important point to note is the relation instance of a relation may change from time to time because the records of a relation may be updated from time to time. The next one is null value. Why we use null value or when we use null value in relations? Suppose for a record, we don't know the value of an attribute. In such cases, we write null value. So we use null value to denote or to represent to represent an unknown value. The next one is domain. What is a domain? The set of all values which we consider for a given attribute is called domain. So the set of all values, the set of values. which we consider which we consider for a attribute for a attribute for example for the attribute sid we have written all integers so the set of integers is domain for the attribute sid and one important point is 
the attribute of a sorry the domain of a attribute may change from attribute to attribute so for attribute sid the set of integers is a domain for attribute s name we have written all strings so the set of all strings is a domain for the attribute s name in sql the set of all strings in generally denoted by char or where char we discuss this terminology in sql is that clear sir now let us see one previous question which one of the options given below refers to the degree or arity of a relation in relational database systems so what is degree of a relation sir the number of attributes of a relation or the number of columns of a table is called degree of a relation so what are the options sir the number of attributes of its relation schema is called degree of a relation is that clear sir so this is about relational model in next session we will discuss relational constraints thank you